everyone, welcome back to Kidding Around. My name is Melanie Smith and I think it's fabulous that you are here with me today on another fun film Friday. Today we'll be talking about the film Yes Day. Before we do that though, if you like what you're seeing here and want to follow along with all of Kidding Around's videos, please make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and below each video click the thumbs up. Also, if you really like what you're doing here, please share us with your friends. Thank you so much. All right, it is Friday, and it is a perfect day for a movie. Have you seen the new movie, Yes Day? It's streaming right now on Netflix, and oh my goodness, it is hilarious. In it, the two parents decide to give their three kids a yes day. And on this yes day, the parents have agreed that they will say yes to everything. Everything the kids want to do, the parents have to say yes. What do you think about that? Does that sound like a fun day? I have to say, I do think it sounds like a lot of fun, but I also think it sounds like it could be a lot of trouble. <laughs> As I'm sure you can figure out, the parents and the kids figure that out in the movie as well. But if you haven't had a chance to see it, I highly recommend it. I think you will definitely enjoy it. It is a heartwarming movie and, of course, a lot of fun. So in one of the scenes in the movie, I'm not going to give too much away. I will tell you just a little bit. Um, but in one of the scenes, the kids ask the parents to drive through the car wash with their, with their windows down. Oh my goodness, all of that soap and all of that water filling the car. Oh my goodness. It's good clean fun, I suppose, because of all the soap. But man, what a mess. <laughs> But as I was watching that, I was reminded of something that I used to do as a kid when I used to make bubble snakes. Again, with soap and it's good, clean fun, it can be a little bit messy, but it is a ton of fun. So I'm going to show you what a bubble snake is and then we'll make one together, okay? So I have this weird looking contraption here. It's a water bottle and a washcloth with a rubber band. I am going to dip it into my soapy magic solution over here. And then I am going to blow into the end of this bottle and watch what happens, okay? Look at that bubble snake. I don't know if you can quite see it as a snake because of the way the camera is. Here, let me turn this just a little bit. And you can imagine that I could even pull that out longer and that looks like a snake, right? All right, well, I am going to show you how to make this, and I will even show you how to make some colored bubble snakes, too. I am going to pull this off right now just to get it out of the way as we make our bubble solution, and then I'll bring it back as we test our bubble snake maker. All right, so to make a bubble snake maker, you will need some supplies. You will need some liquid dish soap. Dawn is the best for this bubble maker, swear by Dawn, but other dish soap will work as well. You will need an empty water bottle. Uh, you will need a pair of scissors, a sharp knife, and uh, adult supervision and permission, and maybe even just some help with using this knife. We'll talk about that more when we get to that step. Uh, you can use some food coloring if you want to color your snakes, but you don't have to. That one's up to you. Uh, you will need a spoon. You will need a rubber band a washcloth or an old sock. This should be something that you don't mind getting stained because if you're using food coloring on it, it might stain. Um, and then you will need nine ounces of water, a bowl, and then you will also need, this is kind of an optional one, um, some Caro syrup. This just makes your bubbles last longer and uh, stick together just a little bit better. Oh, and then you will also need a place that you can make these bubble snakes. As you can see, there's a whole bunch of soap and water that obviously will come out of the end of your snake maker, and so um, you should be prepared for that. So have some plastic, have something that you can easily clean up, or you should go outside. All right, well, let's get started making our snakes, or our snake makers, I should say. All right, so the first thing that I think we should do is make the bubble solution. So this, you'll pull your bowl over and then you will put nine ounces of water into it. 
And then you will take two to three tablespoons of soap. I should have said you need a tablespoon. Um, I usually just kind of eyeball it, but if you want to measure it, absolutely go ahead and do that. So that's one tablespoon, that's two tablespoons, and there's three tablespoons. Two to three, it doesn't have to be exact. All right, and then you will need, this is the optional thing, the Caro Syrup. It just makes your bubbles stay around longer. And this, there's no real measurement for, I say just one or two good squeezes. As you can see, this is not a, a very perfect recipe, is it? It, it really, is very forgiving. All right, so there's one squeeze, and then I will do a second one as well. And then I am going to take my spoon, and I am going to stir it all up. And I just want to make sure that it's all mixed. So if you have that caro syrup, you want to make sure that there are no clumps down on the bottom, and then your water will probably turn the color of your soap. And when it does that, you'll know that it's pretty well mixed. Okay, so then we're going to set this aside. And I will tell you, you can make this bubble solution the day that you decide to make your bubble snakes, but you can also make it the night before and it will be that much better. It just makes the bubbles a little bit stronger the longer that it sits. All right, well, I'll put that aside. And now let's make our snake maker. So this is where the adult supervision, permission, and help comes in. You will take your sharp knife or you will ask a grown up to do this. And what you're going to do is cut the bottom of this water bottle off the water bottle. So I am just going to poke my knife in here and I'm being very careful to make sure that my uh, fingers are away from the knife. This is definitely something to have some parent help or an adult help. All right, and then I cut it pretty much off there, but I think I'm going to take my scissors and finish off that cut just to make sure that it kind of cuts off in um, an even fashion. All right, so once you have this, then you're going to take your washcloth or your old sock. Remember, something that you don't mind getting stained if you're going to be using a uh, food coloring. And you're going to put that over that open end that you just cut. So you put that right there. And then you're going to take your rubber band and you are going to put that um, on the washcloth on the bottle just to make sure that the bottle um, or the washcloth stays on the bottle just like that all right now you are pretty much ready to rock and roll first off I think we should test this and see if we can get a bubble snake out of it and then I'll show you how to color it all right so I'm moving this around just so I'm not making a huge mess like you know the people in the car wash going through with their windows down <laughs> All right, so I stick my, um, my washcloth that's over the bottle down into my bubble solution, and then once it stops dripping, I am going to pull it over to my plastic or my place that I know that it's okay to get soap and water all over, and then I will put it there, and then I am just going to blow into the end of this water bottle. And there is my bubble snake. Isn't that fun? All right, well, what's even more fun is to have a colored bubble snake. And so to do that, let's see, you are going to take your food coloring and you are going to put the food coloring on the end or on your washcloth on the end of your water bottle. So I am going to do two colors here. Um, I am going to take some yellow and I am going to just put it on one side of the, uh, the washcloth and then here, I'm going to cap that back because I don't want any food coloring uh, mishaps. And then I'm going to take my blue food coloring and I am going to put it on the other half of the uh, washcloth, just like that. I know it's kind of hard to see on this dark washcloth, but I'm using the dark washcloth because I don't, if it stains, or I'll be less likely to see a stain on this dark washcloth, but I think you can still see that. Um, it is definitely put out pretty well. I've spread it all around and now I am going to dip it into my bubble solution. Actually, you know what? I could, but I think let me just see if there's enough bubble solution already on there to make a snake. Let's see. Oh yes, that is perfect. Look at that. I now have a blue and yellow snake. 
And of course, I can keep blowing until the solution runs out and then I'll just dip it back in and then I can have many more bubble snakes. This is a really fun thing to do and I'm sure that you can see why I thought of these bubble snakes as I was watching that family go through the car wash with their windows down. <laughs> Well, if you make bubble snakes, I would love to see your bubble snakes. Please ask a grown-up to take a picture of those and put them on our Facebook site. I can't wait to see all of the good, clean fun that you are having. Well, thank you so much for joining me for this one. Um, I've had so much fun. I hope that you have too. I look forward to seeing you on Tuesday where we will be doing a test tube Tuesday lesson. I can't wait to do some science with you. But until then, thanks so much for joining me for this one. Thanks for kidding around with me. I will see you next time.